Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve problem 4.59 from Sadiku book. So the question is determine the Thevenin and Norton equivalence at terminal AB of the circuit in figure 4.125. Okay, maybe let's let's find out the Thevenin voltage first. Okay, so we will have VTH. What is VTH? VTH is basically here right the voltage between a and b which is b a b okay and if we put this as our ground here that means that this is v a minus v b where the voltage here is equal to zero okay maybe let's do some notation here this is not a and then this is node B. And I think I will name not this node here as node C. Okay. And from here, we can assume the direction of the current. Okay. I just follow the arrow here. Let's go there. And this is going down. And this is going there. Okay. Now, what can we do from here? We can do KCL at this node here not vc okay maybe i will do that here let's do that here let's do kcl at not vc okay what does kcl said kcl said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out what is the current that goes in? That is exactly this 8 ampere current source. So I will have 8 that goes in. Okay. And then another, uh, another part here is the current that goes out. So I will have hit this one and then this one. For this one, I will have PC divided by this resistance is in series. So I will have 10 plus 50, which is 60 good and then what else i have the same one here so i will have 20 plus 40 and so we'll have pc over 60 also here and i think that is good because we have the same denominator here so we can just add the numerator so we'll have 8 is equal to 2 vc divided by 60 and so we can solve for vc and we will have 8 multiplied by 60 divided by 2. And that means we will have Vc is equal to, I think this is 480 divided by 2. So I'll have 240 volt. Okay. And I think that is a good start. Now we can calculate Va here by using voltage divider. Okay. So what can we do for VA? VA is just 50 divided by 50 plus 10. So I'll have 60 multiplied by VC. Okay, VC is 240. So I'll have 240. And this will cancel into 4. And therefore, we will have VA is equal to 200. Volt. Okay, the unit here is volt. Okay. And the same thing can we do for VB. We can do voltage division here. So we'll have 40 over 40 plus 20. That will be 60. And multiplied by 240. This will cancel into 4. So we will have VB is equal to 160. And the unit here is 4. Now we can just plug this into this equation here. VA is 200. And then VB is 160. And so we will have the Thevenin voltage is equal to 44. Okay, I think that is good for now. Okay, now what can we do from here? Uh, we can find out the Thevenin resistance. Okay, maybe let's erase this. And let's see what can we do. Okay, the next thing that we need to do is to find out the Thevenin resistance. Okay, R, 
pH, which is seen from this part here. So we see it from here, maybe R A B. Okay, but we need to turn off the sources. Okay, we only have the current source, and remember, we replace the current source with an open circuit if we need to find out the Thevenin resistance. Okay, let's erase this one. Let's erase that 8 ampere current source and replace it with open circuit. So we'll have this one and this one. So we open it. And then, so what can we do from here? RAB is this one here, 10 in series with 20. So let's write that. So we will have 10 in series with 20. So we'll have 10 plus 20. And then that in parallel with 50 in series with 40. So we'll have 50 in series with 40. And this one will be 30. And this one will be 90. Okay, let's let's change it into arithmetic notation. So we'll have 30 multiplied by 90 divided by 30 plus 90 so i just leave it as is so 30 multiplied by 90 and this one will be 120 this will cancel into 4 and 90 divided by 4 is 22.5 22.5 ohm so this is our thevenin resistance okay now, what can we do from here? We can find out the Norton current. So, IN is equal to VTH divided by RTH. So, we'll have 40 divided by 22.5. Okay, I think I need some calculator to calculate that. Where is my calculator? Forty divided by twenty-two point five. I will have one point seventy-eight. Okay, I think I will write it. Here. So I Norton is one point seventy-eight, and the unit here is ampere. Okay, so we can draw the Norton equivalent and the Thevenin equivalent. So the Thevenin is just 40 volt here in series with a 22.5 ohm resistance so we have 22.5 ohm and this is not a and also this one is not b okay this is for tefanin and for norton I will have 1.78. So I have 1.78. And the unit here is ampere. Okay. And then the resistance here is also have the same value, which is 22.5 ampere. And this is the not A, and this is the not B. Okay, I think that's all for this problem. Hopefully, this will help you to solve this problem. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.